You've all seen this, right? Or at least heard about it. Genshin Concert 2021, Melodies of an Endless Journey. Seen the official art. Well, this artwork actually got MiHoYo accused of whitewashing Kaya. That's right, MiHoYo accused of whitewashing on official art their own character. Well, this actually isn't the first time it occurred because the official art was released back in August originally, and people were claiming that Kaya was whitewashed then. And some people were saying, I fixed it, getting over 13,000 likes for the alleged fix. Yeah, fixing MiHoYo's own official artwork. Oh, and of course, thank you King Savage for the tag. Appreciate that, buddy. Here's another example of someone complaining about Kaya in that artwork saying bro, and then showing this other picture of Kaya and comparing some color palettes or something. And yet another example, and genuine question, is Kaya confirmed to be POC anywhere? Cause if he is, that's cool. But if not, that's cool too. I just appreciate Kaya for being Kaya, it's a cool character. Anyways, yeah, you see a lot of tweets like that on, in various fandoms, not just Genshin. And it's kind of disturbing because people seem like they're trying to race bait, like cause hate between people. And then Genshin Impact here on October 3rd, talking about the concert, showing the official art, gets a tweet right here, talking about, well, yeah, Kaya being whitewashed. On the flip side, here's a tweet defending the official art, talking about the lighting and saying Mihoyo did not whitewash Kaya. And the fact that some people can't figure out the lighting in this art like, without people pointing it out is absurd to me. Like, first of all, you can see the shadows on there. Actually, no, that's the second point. First point, they're on stage. There are things called stage lights to help people see the performers more easily. That's a thing. <laughs> then there's the shadows and everything. Check this out, though. This tweet gets over 13,000 likes, and it shows basically what we've been talking about, the lighting there. And they say, as someone with dark skin, I do not like when people do this to other people's artwork, so please unfollow if you don't like my take. And so it's probably referring to the people in general claiming that Kai was whitewashed there, but especially the people that, you know, were claiming that they fixed it by darkening Kaya. On that note, you may have seen my Venti video the other day where I talked about how covering situations like this has led to weird people on Twitter trying to label me a racist and sending me threats. But the point now is this comment I got on that video it says, I had a conversation with someone about this and they don't care. A black person tells you they love the characters the way they are and that race swapping makes them uncomfortable, but you decide to ignore them. They assumed I was white and decided for me that I would be thankful for race swapping my favorite characters and giving the vitiligo, as if we all have it. If you wanted to give me representation, quote unquote, so bad, why don't you make an original character? No, that takes talent, and you actually have to do more than color in the skin of a pre-existing drawing. At the end of the day, they don't care about black people. If they did, they'd listen to us instead of making half-hearted edits for attention. And in that one spot, I think Bam meant to say, give them vitiligo, and I, I should have also said that, my bad. But no, it's a great point, and it's also kind of sad, because just like was said there, you'll see black people saying that these things make them uncomfortable a lot of the time, and they get ignored, or they get sent hate by the people doing the edits and like their communities. On the bright side, at least over recent months, I've seen more and more people standing up for black individuals who are uncomfortable with those kind of edits. For example, this tweet as well. And the video I made like last week about Hero Aka, where people were talking about how they'll just throw in like any racial stereotype they can for these edits and things like that. And on that video is another comment that you might find rather interesting. So I'll have that posted on screen for you to read. And thank you all for leaving the comments. Appreciate that. I don't really have anything else to add in this topic, however. So I will wrap this up here, but thank you for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed and I look forward to catching you in the next one.